Isa po siyang Canadian. Nais niya po humingi ng payo kung ano ang dapat niyang gawin oh. sa kanyang misis dahil nagkaanak daw ito sa dalawang magkaibang lalaki at pinaako pa sa kanya. She was working in Angeles City as a bar girl. I would like to file a case against her, yeah. Ma'am Rodeliza, you will go to jail if Mr. Selim will file a case against you for having two babies outside your marriage. Nick, what you want? You stole my house. Because I don't you have any nothing. money. I'm very broke. I accept my mistake. Well, if you accept your mistake, then you accept your punishment. <laughs> in order for her not to go to jail, what is it that you want in exchange? I'd at least like the 50,000 peso. Okay, so we will go there. We're going to accompany Mr. Selin to your place. And then you will have the 50,000 pesos ready for him. Gawan ko po ng paraan. I actually talked to her, to your wife, <coughs> last night and then yeah. earlier this morning. She told me that she did come up with uh, 16,000 pesos and she couldn't find uh, 50,000 overnight. Rodriza will give you the partial payment of 50,000, which is how much? 20,000 right now. Oh, Mr. I was surprised yesterday, yesterday. I don't have any cash with me. so. I risk myself to find money somewhere. I appreciate you taking some action, but mm. unfortunately that's Until not what we agreed upon. Then only 20. When you provide me with the 50,000, I will sign whatever document you like regarding the sale of the house. Because honestly, I would have liked to keep that house for myself, put one of my Filipino friends. I'm messaging you that I trying to keep the house, but that time I don't have any cash. I'm pregnant. We don't have food. We don't have money. You know, I'm only support my family, you know that? Yung buong ba, kapitbahe po namin doon, saksi kung anong pinagdaanan ko. Buntis ako, wala kaming makain, mama po, apat na bata, ako. Walayasin na kami sa apartment kasi yung apartment din naman po na bayad di installment. Tapos may agreement, may ano yon, may kontrata. Pag hindi kami makabayad ng two months, kukunin na nilang bahay, di ba? Para na akong mabaliw. So, I, I almost suicide. Inisip ko lang yung mga anak ko, kaya hindi ko, hindi ko tinuloy magpakamatay. I already got my karma. Ma'am, sell in the bar. You know that whole night to risk the life? We move here. We stay small house, very hot, no aircon, no electric pan. I'm pregnant. You cut ties with me. How was I supposed to know what happened to you? Sancho never support me. When you met Sancho, that he had two kids that he did not support and you knew his wife, and you knew his situation, how did you expect him pay for you when he's already got a wife and two kids? I was paying for everything for you, and you're giving my money to Sancho. That's why you don't have enough cash. Forgot that, that birth certificate, we can do lit birth certificate. Lit but different, ano na, you out na. I can get the lit birth certificate, no father, like that. That it's okay to you? I definitely would like to talk to somebody who's well-versed in Philippine law, but probably yeah. a lawyer or attorney, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good for us to fix the annulment in the birth certificate. Dr. Nicholas, you're willing to go back and forth here in Pangasinan just to settle everything? If that's the situation, then I have to bite the bullet and, and do what has to be done. Sorry, I'm not good English, you know that, right? I remember... You're just misunderstanding in that time. You know, I'm not matured yet. I know my mistake. Everything has happened already, right? Goodbye, bye. Oh, when the rapid po asked me for 50,000, do I, do I say no? I say yes, and I will find, because I understand. You falsified a document. You forged my signature. I'm just trying to can have money for budget. Well, just why didn't, try. Why didn't you 
ask Sancho for money then because obviously you spent more time with him he's hiding than you spent with me he's hiding I can't contact him he don't he don't care the baby well then let's I'm posting the post I'm yeah. posting the post yeah. his picture well he, he comment there that he's not the father I got mistake right so I'm guilty I'm scared so what can I do I'm sorry <laughs> working in the bar, diba? You know I'm working in the bar to raise my kids because no one support me, no one help me. Okay, I got my karma, but I handle my kids. Huh? <laughs> Attorney, nasa barangay po kasi ako ngayon. Ang complainant po natin is Canadian po. Tapos gusto po nilang maglakad ng annulment. Paano po ba i-arrange yung ganong klaseng annulment case po? Dalawang options nila. Pwedeng magpa-divorce yung uh, Canadian sa Canada. Tapos ipa-enforce na lang dito yung judgment. I think that's easier Ay. kaysa mag-annulment dito. Pwede rin naman mag-annulment yung babae dito. Regardless po, uh, attorney, kung saan po sila kinasal, mm. sa papusan ng concern, yung about po sa birth certificate po nung um, anak nung misis po, uh, ang nakaregister po kasi is itong po si Canadian na si Sir Nicholas. Gusto po sanang ipavoid na ni Canadian po yung kanyang pangalan doon po sa birth certificate nung anak po ni ma'am kasi hindi naman po siya ang biological father. Correct yun ng birth certificate kapahit niya. Parang i-impune niya yung paternity. Kung mag-DNA test yung court, tapos makikita na hindi niya talaga anak yun. Pwede yung tabago yung birth certificate. Attorney Paul, maraming maraming salamat po sa information po. So, what is your decision? So it's easier to do it in Canada, so maybe I'll just file the divorce in Canada and then I can send the paperwork hopefully to you guys or by fax to the NSO or, or something without me having to come back here, right? Once the divorce is finalized in Canada, that way that the NSO, NSO knows that we're divorced and she no longer has my last name. I already got my karma. Thank you for everything and understand. Mahal niyo pa po ba ma'am si Sir Nicholas? Hindi naman basta-basta mawawala yung pagmamahal eh. I'm really sorry that things things worked out this way because I had big hope. I had, I had really big hope for our relationship and our family and I mean it's it's nothing now. going to accept the 50,000 in full cash. Yeah. Okay. Give her give um, her 14 days from today. From 2 today. weeks. Yeah. How is she going to pay you? Just send it via Western Union. Okay. There was an amicable settlement for their differences. The payment share of their property sold amounting to 50,000 and promised to pay on or before December 24, 2019 through Western Union. In the name of Mr. Nicholas Silin, and also Mr. Nicholas Silin promised to settle the divorce of their marriage in Canada and send to the documents in the Philippines, and to settle the voiding of Mr. Nicholas Silin's name in the birth certificate of Ms. Rosdeli Sakamalib Child. So this is your copy, Nicole, okay. and Rosdelisa, copy, and I hope uh, you're have a peace of mind already. Yeah. I really apologize that all I've done of you and thank you for understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you for cooperating and not making this a, a big mess. Thank you for everything you support, help me, also for my family. I never forgot that hmm. until I die. Okay. Uh, uh. Take care, take care always. Thank you. God bless. Hang on. We'll see you again. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Rafi Telfo, for uh, providing legal guidance and assisting me and coming to Alaminos, Pangasinan, to settle the differences between myself and my wife. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I want to thank you very much. Also, congratulations on 9 million subscribers on YouTube.